Hello everyone. Welcome to Drama Free Friday. How are you guys? Just watching the chat for a minute. Yeah. Whew. It's a little warmish here today, I gotta say. It's, it's a lot warmish here today for uh, for this part of the world. It's a lot warm. Anyway. Yeah. Whoops. Mute that. <laughs> anyway. That's, hello, everyone. Okay, let's say hi to the people I see here. Let's see. Vic, uh, Carla, Sandy Jones. Miss Sandy Jones, how are you? Um, Sherry. Thank you for telling me your name, Sherry. Uh, Margaret, I believe, is Margaret. Carla. Mindy. Hey, Mindy. Pavla. Hey, Pavla, a.k.a. Jennifer. <laughs> Vicki. Hi, Vicki. Linda. Miss Allie Kay. Uh, and Lindsay. Boy, we got some, <laughs> we, we got a few diehards here from, from down under, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Joe. I don't think I said hello to Joe. Joe was here. I mean, I saw her name earlier. And Deb. Anyway, and Kate. Boy, what a great group coming in. Thank you so much for coming. Um, APG. Hey, APG Jamie. Uh, yeah, Joe said it was 6 o'clock where she was. I think she said she was in New Zealand. 6 o'clock a.m. on Saturday. Whew. The computer's freezing. Oh, no. Hi, Lori. Hey, Jennifer. Welcome, everybody. Just come on in. Just come on in. Grab a seat. Get comfy. We're just chatting for a minute. Yep, just chatting for a second. Got on my, got on my working apron today because could get messy in here. I don't know. I don't even know what's going to happen today. I don't even know what's happening. So how would you guys know, right? <laughs> Yeah, so welcome to Drama Free Friday. We hope, with all of our fingers and toes crossed, that in fact, it is drama free. Yeah, last week, I should tell you what happened. It had nothing to do with YouTube. Nothing. It was 100% an issue uh, inside my computer. So, in case you didn't watch, I did an impromptu, well, more or less impromptu, a planned impromptu stream on Monday that I was checking to see how everything was working. What we had done is we had had to replace a part inside the computer, and the computer said, I don't like you. Yeah. It said, uh, oh, thanks, Vicki. Hey, Janice. Uh, anything that you want to put in cap, that you want me to see for sure, put it in caps in the chat. Those of you that are here live. This is a live broadcast, in case you didn't know that, if you're watching the recording. That's why I'm, who I'm talking to is the chatters in the audience. So, so what ended up happening is I, we replaced a part in the computer. The computer did not like it, and that scrambled the guts of the computer. And if any of you know about scrambling guts, <laughs> scrambling computer guts, it ain't purdy. <laughs> It's not purdy, and um, particularly when you have to unscramble and backtrack and try to figure out, you know, who did what and what caused the issue, and then the computer would decide it wasn't going to start. <laughs> and inside a Mac, um, it has a kernel, and I don't know who kernel is. I don't know his other name, but kernel, and the kernel panicked, and like we kept getting kernel panic messages. And bless his heart, we had to make the kernel happy. Hi, Deborah. Yeah, so we had to make the we had to make the kernel get happy, and and it took a little bit of doing, quite honestly, <laughs> to get the kernel happy. We had to take out the part we put in, and put in the old part, and uh, and then it took a little bit, but everything seems to have, and it kind of went like this for a little bit, you know, until everybody got in line. And if the technical department is in the audience, he is. He's fainting at my explanation. <laughs> He's fainting at my explanation because it is worse than a lay person's explanation of what went on, right? Cheers. <laughs> All right. So today is Clausman's birthday. 
Yes, on Drama Free Friday, which is a good day to have a birthday. He's out working, but uh, today is Clausman's birthday. I'm taking him out for dinner after a while. And uh, so I was going to make him a card, which I still might do. You never know. But I thought I better have a backup. So I was looking for a card at the store. All right. So any of you who are easily offended, <laughs> you might want to look away. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Lynn, Linda McAllister says the colonel did not like his new implant. No, he did not. Colonel was unhappy. He was unhappy. So if you're easily offended, look away. Um, if not, keep your eyes on the screen. Okay, so this is the card I found. And by the way, I apologize for the state of my pitiful surface here. I don't care for this. This is a non-stick mat that I tried. I don't care for it. I'm not going to tell you the brand because I don't want to offend anybody, but I don't care for it and I'm going to replace it because I can't get the crud off of it. You know, it, the glues come off, but you know, it's not my favorite mat, I have to say. And see this, I don't know that you can see it all the way down here, but I forgot how badly alcohol ink stains a mat. You need to have a separate mat when you're working with alcohol inks. And so it's in, it has permeated my nonstick mat. So anyway, hopefully next week I'll have a new mat. All right. Um, <laughs> so here is the card that I got for Claws Man. And it's a very sweet little card, right? It's a little kitty and the little mouse is... They're, you know, riding the bike together. Okay, so inside it says, Hope your birthday... You probably can't see that. Let's try this. Okay, here's the inside. I'll show you the outside first. Hold on. Okay, so here's the outside. Okay, it's just a sweet little card. Looks like your typical little Hallmark card, right? Hey, Ruth. And this is the inside of it. Hope your birthday is so happy you could crap a mouse. <laughs> okay, so I admit, it's twisted, but I had to. You people know I had to. <laughs> you guys know I had to do that. I had to, right? If you saw that, if you saw that mouse, wouldn't, I mean that card, wouldn't you have to get that for somebody? <laughs> Ikea. Isn't that funny? <laughs> like I said, if you're easily offended, I apologize in advance. And any of you watching the recording who are offended, I apologize. Just go on by. Yeah. But, you know, we live with the sponsors. Um, and <laughs> what makes it particularly appropriate was one day they have these perfect little fabric mice. They look, they're uh, animal print mice. And they love, Chance especially, loves to play with these. He plays with them like it's a real mouse. He'll toss it and play with it and chase it. And, and he, I mean, he chases it all over the place. I, it's, he bats it like it's real, you know, and he'll shove it under furniture. And then he digs under there with his foot and he'll drag it back out. And, and periodically he'll smack them clear back to the wall under a piece of furniture. So Claus Man gets down on his hands and knees and sometimes on his belly and gets a yardstick you know to fish out the mice so and chance loves that he knows when he's going to do it so he goes with him and so here's claus man down on the floor looking under the furniture and here's his little gray face right beside him looking under there so the two of them are going mouse fishing well twice last week one of his favorite chance's favorite mice he managed to put into the drinking bowl and so i come in in the morning and the mouse would be like eh, you know he was taking a drink so i'd ring him out and put him back in the the bowl and after he'd dry out the chance to play with him again well one day this was a while back maybe a year or so ago i was um cleaning the litter box which is not particularly you know aesthetically pleasing to talk about on drama free friday but it's a fact and anyway, in the litter box, as I was scooping out the unmentionables, buried in the box <laughs> was one of the mice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, the mouse doesn't, none of them have catnip. 
they're just they're just um, they're just little fabric mice, and they used to have feather tails on them, but of course that's the first thing they got rid of was the feathers. So anyway, yeah, no, there's no catnip in them. They're just they're just little you know fiber filled mice. And then, you know, they're like this long, like two inches long. They're just the right size. Well, anyway, I'm scooping the cat litter, and in the cat litter was buried one of the mice. Yeah, yeah, he had buried one of the mice in the cat litter. So clearly he had flipped it, and then somebody must have used the litter box and married. So apparently somebody did crap a mouse that day. I don't know. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Claus, man. <laughs> All right, so let me get rid of the illegal liquids. Um, all of you, I'm sure, know that this is not legal around computer equipment. I must move it. As I said a little bit ago, it is hot here, and uh, so you'll hear my air conditioner coming on and making racket, but, you know... <laughs> Well, Lindsay, um, yes, I kept it. That bot, but that mouse had a a uh, very sanitizing bath, lots of soap, lots of hot water, and um, it it got saved. <laughs> it was his favorite one. <sighs> Sad but true. <laughs> Becca has a mouse and it's in his cage, happy with a bit of cucumber. How funny. <laughs> Kate says her dog and cat are the same size and the dog steals cat toys. <laughs> Uh-oh, Sarah accidentally sprayed her laptop with paint the other day. That is not good. That's not good. <laughs> Sandy Jones says it's very hot, too. Vodka, vodka, what, what's the vodka for, Deb? Is that to sanitize the mouse <laughs> or to drink? <laughs> uh, yeah, was it a pretty color? Ruth wants to know if it was a pretty color, Sarah. Hi, <laughs> cats. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys will have to fill in all the the people coming in. You'll have to fill in. In my cup, oh no, in my cup is tea. <laughs> my illegal cup, no, it's tea. It's chai tea. <clears throat> it's Oprah chai tea, to be exact. Okay, so let's get going here. I've digressed long enough. But, you know, I missed you guys last week. What can I say? It was not the same. Drama Free Friday was just not the same. I just had to... It was terrible. It was terrible. I missed you. Okay, so I got a uh, show and tell. Somebody shared this with me on Twitter. And I, she did not specifically give me permission yet to show it. And so I'm going to show it. And I'm not going to tell you her whole name. <laughs> but I'll tell you part of her name. Because I don't have exact permission to do this, but I want you guys to see this because I thought this was so cool. Um, so this is Roxine. That's how you say her name. And she she took a shot of these. I think these are her legs with her feet. <laughs> well, it would be stupid if they were somebody else's legs and her feet, right? Um <laughs> The orange thing on my apron. I'll talk about my apron here in just a minute. Um, I giggle a lot for tea. Oh, well, you know, I missed you guys last week. I just had to, you know, it's making me making me giddy to be back streaming again. That's all. So I don't know exactly what the shoes are. I don't know if they're canvas or if they're leather or what, because I didn't get that information yet. But I did ask her if she did the artwork on them. And she said she did. And so I thought, those are too cool not to share with you guys. So I'm going to show you a different, a closer view. So you can see really close the detail. But are those cool or what? 
So thank you so much for sharing those with me. And uh, so I could see if I could, you know, if it was okay to share the pictures. I'm assuming it was. <laughs> and if not, I apologize. Check your email, Barb. I Let's see. I don't know whether I can. What am I looking for, Miss Ruth? I don't even know. Sorry. I don't I really don't know what I'm looking for. But anyway, aren't those cool? Yeah, I thought they were cool. So I really appreciate her sharing those with me. <clears throat> and Joe says her mom paints canvas shoes with Martha Stewart paints. Well that's great. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Okay, so um, now I know that I didn't really have permission to share this other thing exactly, but I'm going to share it anyway. See, I tell you guys that I'm not going to share things unless I have permission, but once in a while I have something that's just too good not to share, so there you go. So in the mail last week, one day, I received this um, amazing box. And it's going to be blurry when I show Well, let me show it to you this way. Um, because I want you to get a, a uh, look at the size of this box. I mean, it is, it's big. It's big. And it is stunning. And it's one of those boxes that has the the um, it has the magnet in it so the flap is magnetized down <clears throat> and it is just the coolest box okay now it's going to be blurry when I show it to you this way but because it's so thick and it's close to the camera but I just want you to see the top of it so it's full of beautiful flowers and I mean, it, this is inspirational just for using it for layer samples, the examples of layers and so forth for art journal pages and so forth, right? So anyway, okay. So this is from um, someone who's in the chat, and if she wants to confess that it's from her, <laughs> she can confess. But I'm not, I don't think I'm supposed to tell you who it's from. Anyway, here's the inside of it, and it says dream, imagine, inspire, hope, faith, um, and so forth. But it's filled with butterflies. But isn't that cool? It's beautiful. And welcome to everybody who's coming in. I appreciate you being here. And um, I'm going to, now that you've seen the box, I'm going to move it over to the side, and then I'm going to just show you all the stuff that was in it, okay? So welcome consider yourself welcome to everybody who's coming in if I don't say your name call you by name please know that I am I am thrilled that you're here APG says she confessed that it was not her <laughs> if the person wants to confess you guys need to you guys need to rat her out because it's she needs to confess I'm just saying she needs to confess <laughs> Hey, Josie. Let's see. Did, who else did I miss? Petka, um, Julie, Lori. Hello, Lori. And anybody else? And Meg. And anybody else that I missed? Please consider yourself welcome. <laughs> Lindsay wants somebody to confess. So this piece of fabric was in here. And this is a, a piece of... It's linen-like fabric. It's... Uh, it appears to have some rayon in it or something because it does not wrinkle if it's true linen when you when you wrinkle it up like that it should come back and be really really wrinkly so I think it has some rayon or something else in it but anyway this is really gonna be fun to um, do some painting on actually that's gonna be fun and also there was um, she included some wool roving beautiful colors of wool roving. These are stunning. This is great for 
needle felting, whether it's machine needle felting or hand needle felting or wet felting or whatever, is perfect. Hey, CB. And then she also included some of her art for me. And these are paste papers, and they are stunning. So this is paste paper. If you want to know how to do paste paper, you can Google it, or you can look on uh, my channel, my YouTube channel. And there are two videos, video classes. They're sample video classes from the membership at howtogetcreative.com. And we put, I think it was 10 or 12 sample classes on YouTube so you can see what the membership classes are like. Um, <laughs> I'm not I'm not answering anything if anybody in the chat wants to confess um, fess up anyway this is done with uh, paste paper here's another one but they are beautiful beautiful examples beautiful so if you want to learn how to do paste paper, there are two sample video classes on my channel and you can learn how to do them. This one is very cool. They're all cool. But you see the, the um, stencil, where she's gone through the stencil and then reversed the stencil over here. So you can see it in the background. It's a layer. What I do with paste paper is not traditional paste paper. It's a layered process. And um, so, you know, it's, it's my spin on paste paper. And then these are deli papers. I'll show them to you one at a time. So this is deli wrap done with the paste paper. My favorite thing about doing the deli wrap with the paste paper technique is that you get two completely different looks from the top side and from the other top side. <laughs> Cat says she'll confess if nobody else does. <laughs> now there's now in the chat there's a whole bunch of people that are taking credits. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's good, you guys. Here's another one. This is deli wrap. And there's the other side. But aren't they cool? How different they are when you do this technique on the transparent or translucent papers. I know. Yep, they're all in the chat. They're all confessing now as to who who this is from, this box of goodness. And there's the other side. But, you know, I just, it's very cool. And she had these all, um, the deli papers in a tube which was really nice because it kept them from from getting crunched up as it were okay so there's paste papers so some yummy goodness of uh, her artwork from some of the classes so APG now is saying well maybe it was her after all Um, and then she, this whole box is filled with butterflies. If any of you have hang, huh, bleh, 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 been hanging around me any length of time, you know the butterfly stories in my life. There's one very significant butterfly story in my life, and I've told it a number of times. And so it's really, it was just, it was so much fun to have. I've not even cracked these open. I have not busted these open, but I've never seen so many different kinds of things with butterflies. These are paper napkins, which are great for collage. Um, she included some, these are paper butterflies. Yeah, paper butterflies. So, little paper butterflies, little flowers. I think these are felt. Yeah, felt flower scatters. Felt flower scatters. Um, <laughs> That's right, Ruth. I have great viewers. I have wonderful people in my life. This is Graphic 45 Cling Stamps, and there's Butterfly, Bee, I think this is a moth, and flowers. And if that's, you know, I don't know the difference between a moth and a butterfly. I should look it up and get it in my head, but, you know, I didn't. There's uh, 
So any entomologists that are present or watching, you know, <laughs> I apologize. Some great washi tape. This is Little B washi tape. I have very generous viewers because they're all, um, there's so many of them that are willing to take credit. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that pretty? Beautiful washi tape. I have I have a few rolls of washi tape, but I certainly do not have this one. That's a really cool one. And then these are little beautiful little note notepads. I mean, these are really beautiful. And they're those magnetic ones. But aren't those pretty? Look at the paper. And look how it's how it's um how decorative it is from the inside and the out. Is that cool? Here's another one. And this one has, this is dimensional. I mean that's, you know, almost looks like something you could take off and wear it, but I think it's permanently attached. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? I love the shape tops like this. Those are really fun to do. Someday I'm going to have to get out the book that uh, Mary Warner sent me a couple years ago. She did a shaped book where she incorporated some of these shaped flaps in it. Just beautiful. <laughs> Joe says, okay, it was not me. <laughs> okay, and this is a note card set. And, okay, I have not busted this open. Got to take off the closure. <clears throat> Cat says, whoever it was, I think, loves Tuesday morning as much as I do. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't realize it opened. Look, it, look, it opens like this. I didn't even know that. It, I hadn't even gotten, I haven't even investigated that far. Wait, wait, there's more. I hadn't even seen this. So, there's that butterfly note card. Okay. There's this butterfly note card thank you cards which you can never have too many thank you cards you know you just need to send we need to send more cards people we need to send more cards in person she says you know she being the person okay what is here it is <laughs> I was gonna say it's the card smarter than I am but look how pretty those are and then there are envelopes that go with the cards so how pretty the envelopes. Aren't those beautiful? You guys, beautiful. And then they all fit back in the little um, sections of this little thing. This little, this little gizmo here, this little three, three um, storage gizmo. This is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can put this back together so I don't lose it. Hey, Kyla, it's Drama Free Friday so far. Aren't we happy? We are happy. Yeah, so, okay, I, I can do this later, can't I? Yeah, so anyway, that note cards. Um, and then she included Viva La Color Butterflies coloring book. Okay, I'm not going to go through all these, but it's a it's a small coloring pad. It's six by six, I think. Tear, 72 tear out pages. But many of these, like these, would be great to color and then tear and cut out and put in art journal pages. They all would actually, but aren't they pretty? Now those might get a little tedious to color and cut out. I'm just saying. Yeah. But that is great, and um. There was also included in the box some pencils, and these are butterfly pencils. I mean, who knew that there were butterfly pencils in the world? I don't know. Can you see them? Maybe. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. Okay. So, put those back in. And then there was this book. Just Add Color Butterflies. Just Add Color Butterflies, a gorgeous coloring book with more than, more than, 
with more than 120 pullout illustrations to complete. And before I flip through that, I want you to see the bottom, the inside bottom of the box. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That is gorgeous. Anyway, fun, fun, fun. Did anyone confess yet? <laughs> but isn't this book cool? Look at that. This, this right here, this page reminds me of the day that the butterfly situation happened to me. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. This is a very good feeling page to me. Okay, before I get all misty, <laughs> before, before I get misty, I'm going to put everything back in the box. And to the person, oh, Lindsay says it was from everybody. Oh, I didn't know that. NR owned up. She finally owned up. Yep, NR, who is Ruth, is the person. Since she owned, they said she owned up, I'm going to say publicly, Thank you so much again. It was a lovely gift. It was a huge surprise. I had no idea. And I am a horrible happy mail. Um, I am terrible at returning happy mail to people. So, um, trying to get stuff out of the way here. So you guys just have to know that if anybody sends me happy mail, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not good at I'm not good at doing it because I there's I hate it when people talk about how busy they are. I just hate that um, because everybody's busy, but it's just the truth of the matter. Anyway, it was great. So thank you so much. Hey, Jean. They figured it. Ruth didn't confess. The group just figured it out. Okay. All right, so what we're doing today, this is what we were going to do last week, and uh, I didn't get around to it because I didn't get on. <laughs> and then Monday, Monday when I did the, the stream, toward the end, I lost audio. And it's unfortunate that I discovered that was my problem, my fault too. So, you know, it's just, it, 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 sometimes you just have to confess that I screwed up, and I did. But anyway, so today what we're going to do is... We are going to use the Kyla Givehand is in the audience, and we're going to use the her mixed media inspiration deck. So we're going to do this today, and so I have the cards pre-shuffled, and in the description box below the video window that you'll see, there will be a list of links and her mixed media deck. Uh, there's a link there that will take you over to. It should take you over to where you can get these if you would like to have them but before i get there i want to show you some other i have a slight addiction to cards okay <clears throat> i have a slight addiction to um to cards so yeah so the link the, to find these is in the description box below the video so you should be able to just click and go right there <clears throat> So I have an addiction to these cards because I just thoroughly, I, I just really enjoy them. I enjoy the aspect of shuffling them and pulling a card and seeing what it has to say. And um, hey, Lynn, I'm just periodically I see somebody pop in the chat. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't see everybody. But I thought I would just show you some of the different ones I have. This one I have had for years and years and years. And this is Roger Van Oak, I'm assuming is how I say his name, the Creative Whack Pack. And one of the reasons that I like these is I like the artwork on the cards. Now this particular card or deck, you know, the face of the deck, all has this Joker looking character on here. And when you turn them over, then you have art on the back and you have you know some some something you're either supposed to do something or you're supposed to um, you know it's a, a thought provoking idea inspiring kind of situation so this one is 
Well, this is per particularly appropriate because this is my favorite question in the entire world, that is, ask what if. if as a creative person, one of the best things you can do is to ask what if about something, whether it's a supply, whether it's an idea, whether it's a, um, a technique, you know, just saying, um, you know, what if this or what if that, you know, and then try it rather than trying to get other people to answer the question for you about how this thing works let's say a supply for example how, can you use this thing on that you know on that substrate or can will this supply respond in this certain certain way rather than i'm not saying don't ask believe me i'm not saying don't ask what i'm saying is it's a great idea to um to inspire yourself by just you know just trying it because what if what if it's great what if you discover something you didn't know what if it's something you've never seen anybody else do you know this is a great question so and there's just all kinds of things like that but the the illustrations on these cards are just really fun slay a sacred cow be dissatisfied think something different take a whack at it um, Hear the knock of opportunity. So anyway, this is the Creative Whack Pack. And all of these cards that I'm showing you, I tried to link in, and I think I did get them all linked in the description box below the video so you can take a look at them. Yeah, Discover the Answers, right? I know, isn't that a great name, Kyla? Creative Whack Pack. Okay, so I like these cards as much for the artwork as I do for you know what's in the in the cards a lot of times uh, this is the well-being cards from Esther and Jerry Hicks and they come in cool boxes too um, so many of these are just inspirational kinds of things but again I love the art that comes with them the main event isn't the destination it's my joyous journey and then there's you know writing on the back so I'm just going to flip through a, a few of these. I'm selfish enough to want to feel good. Look at this kitty. Again, things on the, the back side, writing and so forth. But I just, you know, I find these things to be incredibly inspirational. And for a while, what I used to do, I haven't done it for quite some time, but I used to go through the boxes and I would pull a card from each box and then you know I would kind of use that in my quiet time so you know I would kind of use that during my quiet time you know which I try to have first thing in the day sometimes it depends on what happens and how hard I hit the ground running but you know anyway so these are the, the well-being cards from Esther and Jerry Hicks these are the healing cards by Carolyn Mace and Peter I have no idea how to say his name Ochio Okio Grosso? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, again, look at if you don't if you don't um, aspire to the teachings of these various people or you know I, I here's my philosophy: truth is truth wherever you find it. So that's my philosophy. Um, and so I am inspired by many people and many different kinds of situations. Okay, so these are, again, the artwork is phenomenal. And I have yet to ever look at one of these decks of cards of any kind that I was not particularly inspired by. Um, before you can heal others, you have to heal yourself. Life is a circle from childhood to childhood. Um, so anyway, just such interesting artwork. A visit or a call from a friend can heal you. Without hope, we live in desire, etc., etc. Let the beauty you love be what you do. That's a very good one, isn't it? Okay, so those are the healing cards from Carolyn Mace. Her name is spelled M Y S S, but it is pronounced Mace. Okay, so this is another set of cards from Esther and Jerry Hicks. It's the Ask, and it is given cards. Again, more great art 
pieces. And the same kind of thing. So there's something on the back, but what I'm showing you is the face of the cards, the outside. Every subject is two subjects, wanted and not wanted. I now hold the key to creating my every desire. But you know, you got to be inspired. You got to be inspired by some of these, right? An empty feeling is telling me something important. With this elephant with the little girl holding a flower. So anyway, that's a cool one too. I haven't looked at these for a while. So I just wanted to show you some of those. So these are the Ask and It Is Given cards. Um, this set is The Power of Intention by Dr. Wayne Dyer, who passed away not too long ago. And these are a little more minimalist in, um, in their presentation. Feel abundant. And again, there's, you know, some words of inspiration on the back. But these are just simple, little, um, good things to have in your arsenal of encouragement. I'm, I'm telling you, the older I get, the more I appreciate these, the simpler things, you know, it's like I collect quotes. Okay. <laughs> we know this because I showed them to you Monday. I showed you the books where I collect quotes and I, you know, and I collect quotes all the time because I am inspired by words. I write a lot. And so, you know, I'm inspired by words. I'm inspired by others words. Think from the end, find your purpose, appreciate everything and everyone affirm your good health. Okay, so there's that set. And I did link all these, like I said, in the description box below the video. I think they're all still available as best I could determine. And then you can, if you want to, you can make your own. Okay. So you can make your own cards. And so these were ones that I made several years ago. And we played with these on Monday. This particular deck played with on Monday. And these are, the outside were made as big sheets of paper in a class with Tracy Bautista. And then I cut them up. I didn't know what I was going to do with the sheets. I cut them up and then I made them into cards. Because I not only collect quotes, I collect prompts. And so I wrote all the prompts that I had on the back of these cards. So write 10 things, you know, it's just, it's just random stuff. Draw a map from wherever you are to where you want to be. You know, it's just random stuff. But I like them because they're thing, it's cards that I made and they're um, things I've collected over the years and they're all in one spot finally. And it's a nice thick deck. I don't remember how many I did, but it's a nice thick deck. And, you know, lots of people do different kinds of prompts, situations, and they have different ways of, of um, corralling them, as it were. Some people do sticks. I know there's a Facebook group, and I can't remember what the Facebook group is called. Somebody will put it in the chat, I'm sure. But it's something about um, sticks, and I don't know that if they're doing, I'm not a member of the group, so I don't know if they're doing one stick or if they deal several sticks or whatever. But anyway, they have prompts on them and so forth. Okay, so that's my addiction to cards right there. I want to show you, these are Kyla's cards, and she was out of them for a while, but she got them back in stock. And they come in this neat little box. It's a neat little box, plastic box. She also has expansion packs so that are that deal with specific aspects of art making. This is the regular deck. And um, oh, thanks, Kyla. Monthly, okay. Pick a stick, pick a stick challenge. That's what it is. Pick a stick challenge. That's a Facebook group. Okay, so Kyla has prompts on the back of the cards. Okay. So she's got all different kinds of prompts on the back of the cards. Now the front of the cards 
are all the same. So you can't cheat <laughs> and go, I'm going to accidentally deal the blue one, or I'm going to ac accidentally on purpose, I like that green colored one. No, 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 they're all the same. So the idea is that you shuffle the deck, and Kyla is in the chat live with us today. So um, if you have questions about the cards, you can ask her directly. I don't know that she'll be here the whole time, but you can ask her questions while she's here. Um, as I said, there is a link in the description box, so if you're interested in getting a deck or the expansion packs or anything, you can go over there and check it out. Okay, so what I thought we would do, and if you have any questions, hey Dee Dee, um, hi Rebecca, if you have any questions, put them in caps, or if you have something you want to share with me or say to me or, you know, be specific to me, put it in caps and I'll try, I keep trying to uh, watch the chat over here. And if I get, if I miss it, you might have to put it in, you might have to put it in more than once. Okay, so here's what I have, because normally I do this with an art journaling kind of flair when we've done it in the past. What I have here is, this is a tote bag. Okay, so there's the handles of the tote bag. This is just one of those canvas tote bags. Okay, there's the bottom of it. And this was one that I, I was given, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to do something. I'm tired of it looking, I'm well, it's not that I have anything against this company by any means, but it's like, I'm tired of looking at that. I want it to be mine. So I thought, hey, I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. So I took gesso, and I have scraped, literally scraped gesso over this tote bag, and I've scraped it a couple of times, a couple of coats, and it's well dried because it was ready for last week. Inside, in order to keep stuff from going through to the opposite side of the tote bag, I took a piece of corrugated cardboard, and I covered it with plastic wrap, and I just stuck it inside, and so that's... The th and it also then gives me a harder surface to work on. Okay? Um, so I have that. Also, before the, the gesso was completely dry, I'm not sure you can see, you might be able to see, but I scratched into it, into the gesso, just to give the gesso some texture. At the same time, I ripped a couple more pages out of my Dilutions journal, and this is the kind of off-white, mixed media cards card stock that's included in that book and I used that just because it was convenient so I ripped those out and I thought well when I'm working on this I'll just work on the one or both pieces of the card stock at the same time okay all right so I have shuffled the deck so we're going to deal 10 cards and we'll see where we go from there I used to play double solitaire with my mom, and we had more fun doing that. And hearing, you know, there's certain things that you hear the sounds of things that take you back that trigger a memory. That's a good memory for me. My granddaughter was here a couple weeks ago when she graduated, got her master's degree, <laughs> and she was in the studio with me. And the place where I sit is one long table. It's a six-foot table, and it backs up to another six-foot table. And so when she's here, um, she always sits across the table from me. So she has a table and I have a table. Of course, now I've got it all, my view is all blocked up with um, computer equipment and stuff. But anyway, we were still, we were sitting that way and I was, you know, scooched over and, you know, peeking across the table at her and I was doing something and she all of a sudden stopped and she said, oh, I love that sound. And I was inking the edge of a piece of cardstock. Uh, you know with the the sponge and she said I love that sound I'll never forget that sound and because she's getting ready to launch into her own new life you know she's like you know she's in recording mode so she's taking those sound memories with her which is pretty cool all right hello Cheryl and anybody I missed hello and welcome and thank you for being here I'm so happy you're here all right, so we've got 10 cards. So we're just going to 
pull one and see where we go. Okay, use black gesso or black paint to cover something up. All right, black gesso. Now, as we work through this, it may take me some time <laughs> to pull stuff out of my stash, out of my supplies, and um, so we'll just see how it goes, okay? Black gesso, and let me get a paintbrush. Or I might use a palette knife. That's what we're going to use. We're going to use a palette knife. And this is completely extemporaneous, folks. Which means I'm doing it on the fly. I have not pre-planned a thing other than the thing that I was going to paint on. Okay? All right, so I'm going to pull some black gesso out and I'm going to get out of the picture so you can really see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put some black gesso kind of, I'm just going to make kind of a frame around this. So I'm going to cover up part of the white gesso with the black gesso. And the gesso I happen to be using is the um, Studio Black Gesso. I don't think they make, it's packaged under a different brand now I think, but anyway, that's what I'm using. Okay, so what we've got, we've covered up some of the white gesso with the black gesso. So I'm going to set that aside for a minute and let's stick a little black gesso on this cardstock. Random. And I'm going to go really thin with any paint applications so that we have a shot at this getting dry. So I'm going to, since I got two pages here, And I forgot to put the gloves in the bottle on my hand, so I'm going to do that here in a minute. Since I'm going out to dinner tonight, <laughs> I'm going to try to have presentable hands. Okay, so we've covered up. Hi, Mary. The card, you can find the link to the cards in the description box below the video, Vicki. They're called the Mixed Media Inspiration Deck. You can find the link there if you'd like to do that. They're by Kyla Givehand. Kyla's in the chat today. Okay, so I'm going to put some uh, gloves in a bottle on my hands. Uh, this is a shielding lotion. It doesn't protect your hands from chemicals penetrating your skin, but it does make them make your skin easier for the stuff to come off later. So, and it the thing that I like the most about using it, not a second second to the fact that it helps stuff release from your skin. It when it soaks in pretty quickly, and it doesn't. Um, leave your fingers feeling chalky or you know coated in some way they are coated but you don't feel it okay so we have two pieces of cardstock with some black gesso and we have this tote bag with some gesso which I'm gonna have to hit with a heat gun because I gotta get it dry enough to be able to use Because see I already got black gesso out here where it didn't mean need to go but you know that's the way it goes We'll cover it up. Jean says, speaking of presentable hands, yesterday I arrived at a restaurant after her stream. She streamed yesterday and <laughs> realized that she forgot to wash the paint off. <laughs> yep. Jean, okay, Jean, let me just tell you something. Jean, Two thumbs up. <laughs> That's great. 
If you guys have ever watched the music, well, any of you have watched the musical Scrapper, who is in the chat, her name is Jean, if you've watched her for any length of time, you will know what a huge um, transition that has been for her, because not very long ago, if she got pain on her hands, the world was going to come to an end. <laughs> okay. So good for you, Jean. That's great. I'm just going to spread that out. I'm looking for thick spots on the gesso because I'm going to spread them out so it doesn't take all day and all night for this to dry. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's see what the next card is. Alright, so we used black gesso or black paint to cover something up. Doodle or draw random shapes. Doodle or draw random shapes. Okay. Hmm. I'm just thinking here what I want to write doodle or draw with. Um, I think I'm going to use some big brush pens. And um, I'm just going to pick some colors. Okay, so these are the big brush pins because it's on my desk. And these are the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pin Big Brush. Okay. Um, yeah, Jean melted her heat gun yesterday too. She sure did. <laughs> okay, so we're doodling or drawing random shapes. All right, random, random shapes. Well, what kind of shape shall we doodle? Okay. Okay, let's go with my left hand, because I'm so heavily right-handed. This should be really random. That make it more random doing it left-handed. Okay, so we have some random shapes doodled on this. So let's do some quick doodled shapes on this, and hopefully this is dry. We'll just spread out. I'll use my hand and as the squeegee. Okay, good enough. See why you want to put gloves in a bottle on, right? Okay, so I'm going to do left-handed again. Okay, there's that one. Okay, there's that one. So I'm going to use the same colors, trying to get it where you guys can see, make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay, there's that one. Jean, you weren't here earlier. Did you see the um, birthday card? And Dee Dee wasn't here. Did you see the birthday card I did for, uh, I got for Claus Man? His birthday is today. If you didn't, tell me and I'll show you. Uh oh, Race is here. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to the peanut department, also known as the technical department, who happens to have crashed 
my stream. Don't look. Don't look at him. Don't listen to him. Linda's birthday's daughter is today, too. Cool. Dee Dee saw it. It was funny. Okay. Jean missed it. All right. I'm going to have to show it to you. I'm just going to have to. Let me just finish doodling random shapes with my left hand. Okay. Um, you know, I didn't think too much about doing things with my left hand until I saw Eileen McKinnis, who has a YouTube channel. She was doing, she does a lot of stuff with her left hand, and it's like, that is, that's a good idea. Okay, so we're going to put those away. Okay, Jean, here it is. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, here's here's the card. Okay, so it's this sweet little um, card, right? Looks like any other Hallmark card. It's a little too sweet for Claus Man, but hey, what do you, what do you know? Hey, Angie. Okay, so here's the inside. Hope your birthday is so happy you could crap a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay any of you guys that want to borrow that sentiment i'm sure it would be okay it is a hallmark card by the way so they paid an artist to come up with that <laughs> oh eileen's in the audience hey eileen <laughs> I couldn't resist. I mean, I'm supposed to be like making him some nice mixed media card or something, you know? Ugh, probably just ate gesso on that. But no kidding. Is that funny or what? Okay. So we'll set these to the side and we're ready to go. On. Yeah, so Eileen, thanks for that thing about using the left hand because I really wouldn't think of it myself. Okay. So here we are back to, the t this is the tote bag. Anybody that's come in since I started, this is a tote bag. I scraped white gesso originally, um, scraped white gesso, a couple of coats over the advertising logo. And the first, the first uh, card that we pulled from Kyla's Mixed Media Inspiration deck was use gesso or black paint to cover up something and doodle or draw random shapes. Okay, so we're going to the next, the next card. Use an alphabet stencil. Well, all right, I gotta get one. I shall return. Talk amongst yourselves, okay? Oh, where is it? Let me see. I gotta look here. I told you this is gonna involve a little bit of, uh, a little bit of digging today. Hope you can still hear me. Okay, I found one. This happens to be Letter Jumble. This is a 9 by 12 stencil. It's a Dilusions. Dilusions 9 by 12 stencil. It is called... Um, hang on just a minute and I'll show it to you. There it is, the letter jumble, okay? So that's what I'm using. All right, now, it just says, I should take the card out. <laughs> no, let's, not, let's not mess up the cards. It just says, use an alphabet stencil. All right, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Uh, this is dangerous, dangerous territory I'm on here, dangerous territory because I'm going to let you guys tell me what you would like for me to use. Uh, Angie says it's an awesome stencil. She just got it. Um, <laughs> Ruth has been in the wrong line of work. She should work for Hallmark. <laughs> uh, okay, so... What would you like me to use with this? Eileen says spray. All right, 
Eileen's fastest, so that's who we're using. That's what we're going with. All right, I'm gonna use these because I can get to them. Uh, these are tumble dye sprays, and uh, tumble dye is, I'll get one to show you. These are the SEI tumble dyes. Okay, that's what these are, SEI tumble dyes. And they uh, are permanent when dry. So we're just gonna grab a color. What color shall we use? I'm just digging through these. These I have diluted a little bit. All right, we'll see about this one. Of course, this could be go horribly wrong at any moment, you know. All right, because it all depends on whether the sprayers are going to spray, right? So we may have to go till we find one that works. All right, so we have some letterage on there. And because I got stuff on here, I'm just gonna print with it right on the... Of course, you can't see that. All right, we'll let this dry and then we'll add some more so we can see it a little bit better. Cause I think I obliterated what I just put on there. Okay, let's go and put a little bit on my uh, cardstock so that I'm also working at the same time using the same prints or the same prompts. Well you're not gonna be able to see that. Alright, let's go to a different one. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. See if it's gonna spray. Well it's not gonna spray where you guys can see what it is. Alright, try the other way. There we go. It's backwards, but who cares? It's backwards, but who cares? Okay. So, can you see the letters up there? We did, in fact, get some letterage. It's backwards, but who cares? All right. Set those aside. Let me come back to my tote bag. You can kind of see them up there a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. I'm looking for one of these sprayers that has got enough oomph. Let's try this. This is royal blue. And these are diluted with some water. They're much uh, more pronounced. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, peoples. Now we're talking. Okay, so I'm going to flip that over. And I'm going to print it right there. Okay, good enough. We got letterage. Okay, we got letters. You guys saw it. So, let me uh, move this. One of the things about this is that you quickly run out of room. You know what I mean? You quickly run out of room. Because you got so many things happening. So I'm just cleaning off the stencil on the cardstock. Alright, so stencil, letter stencil, done. Put it away. Alright, so we have stencilage, we have letters, those move over. Bring back the tote bag. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of heat. And then we'll pull the next card. On fabric, just add salt. On paper, not sure. Okay, I'm not sure what... It's a secret mirror magic message. That's what Mary said. That's right. Okay, there is... Um, I don't know how to call you by name because your name is in the chat with symbols, and so I'm going to call you the unknown chatter. <laughs> if you want to type your name in the chat, um, the person who says on fabric just add salt on paper, not sure. <clears throat> Does anyone know if dye inks are permanent once they are dry? Um, most of the time they are not. 
Yeah, most of the time they're not. It depends. You have to read the formulation on the bottle. You have to read that to know for sure because it will say permanent when dry. And if all else fails, just try it. Yeah. She said her name. I missed it. I missed her name. So if you want to put it in the chat again, unknown chatter, then I'll call you by name <laughs> if you want me to. <laughs> Sometimes you got to stop and have a little cup of tea. You know what I mean? Thanks, Carla. Okay, we're ready to go to the next card. You ready? Go stencil crazy. Add three or more stenciled images. Huh, that'll be fun. All right. All right, I'm going to use... I'm going to pull out of my, I'll show you here, Miriam, okay, don't, thank you, I don't want to call you by the unknown chatter anymore, Miriam, M-Y-R-I-A-M, okay, thank you, <laughs> then I don't have to call you the unknown chatter, that reminds me of the unknown comic, you know, all right. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to, oh, I was going to show you what I'm doing. This is my box of uh, small stencils. So I'm going to grab a section of small stencils out of my little stencil storage box. And um, how about if we take the top three? Those are all similar in size, or similar in pattern. This, the, yeah, you know what I mean. Maybe we, I got this new stencil. Maybe we should try that. Yeah, okay. All right. So I have in my hand, I don't know why people insist on putting price tags over the name of the stencil. mini square scrolls this one I think is called dot grid or something this is Harlequin and this is from artists these are from crafters workshop sorry I had to sneeze um, and this one is from the artist seller these are the Crafters Workshop. This one's from the Artist Seller. It's called Sacred Geometry Series, and it is Flower of Life. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to play with. Um. Oh, thank you, Kat. <laughs> So Miriam was born in Argentina and moved to Israel. How cool. Cool. Okay. So, all right, back to what we're doing here. Uh, so I'm going to get some colors of acrylic paints out. And I had decided that what I wanted to use today, I'm going to use some Dina Wakely Media Heavy Body Paints. And so let's just get some out. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Um, so I'm just going to get three random colors. I'm going to get out my uh, palette, which I've been doing other stuff with. And I'm just going to put some of these colors on there. All right, so let me, first of all, let me get out of the picture. <laughs> but do you see how using the, ins the cards like this, the prompt cards, do you see how much fun they can be and they can relieve you of planning things? Because the responsibility for doing it is removed from you. 
And so you can just have fun. And you just go with it and see what happens. And that will free you up remarkably <clears throat> in your process. It will free you up. So the colors we're using are lime, lemon, and blackberry violet. Okay, those are the colors I'm using. And I have some sponges here. And it looks like there's parts of them that are usable, so we'll go with it. And let me get this one out. <laughs> a $10 bill and a quarter? Jean, congratulations. You should clean up more often, right? <laughs> you should clean up more often, girlfriend. Yeah, the other day I did laundry and I got a penny. You know, it wasn't a big high paying day. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this sponge. This is, it's soft, so I can use it, you know. And I'm going to kind of bend it so that it's not, so I'm bending it like that. So I don't have square edges. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to get some paint on my sponge. It's a makeup sponge, makeup wedge. And I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to take this one and let's see what it looks like, shall we? All right. Got to keep track of where my cards are here. <laughs> they don't have pennies in Canada, so she didn't find pennies anymore. We still have pennies. They're talking about getting rid of them, but we still have pennies. Okay, so we have some green green going on. Let's do a little bit more over here in this section. Just a little bit. Okay, so we got green going on. We're going stencil crazy here. And we're going to put some on these cards that I'm doing. This is a way to use up the paint. That's one of the reasons I'm doing the... Um, I'm using the card stock as well because that way it helps me to use up the paint because I knew that I was going to have a hard time gauging how much stuff to get out. You know, how many things to squirt out on my palette. And so I thought, I'll just have some cards ready as well. Some cards. So we'll play with that. So we got a couple pieces of that. Okay. So I'm not going to worry about cleaning the stencils um, because I will eventually clean them with some Murphy's Oil Soap. So I'm just going to move the stencils away. So back at this one, we're going to switch to a different color. So let's do, um, let's go Blackberry Violet. So again, my intention is to kind of round the sponge so it's not got square edges on it. Um, and let's just put some some of this. Whoops, be good if you could see it, huh? Some of this and some of this. And let's not have square edges, okay? That's good. I love, I love this stencil. I have to tell you, I love this stencil. One of the things that I love about using this stencil is that it, this pattern it creates is wonderful for doing, following with lines, um, you know, with pens and stuff for doodling and things like that. It's great. So I highly recommend this stencil. Okay, so we've got some purple. Let's put a little bit more purple over here. Blackberry violet to be exact. <coughs> and a smidge more here and there. Okay, so we have a little blackberry violet going on here and there. All right, going back to the cards to use up the paint. All right, so here we go. A 
no thought about where things are going, just randomly sprinkling color here and there. Not worrying about where things go. Okay, so we got blackberry violet on that. <coughs> And we'll put a little bit on this one. I've just about used up the paint, which is great. You gotta use up the paint somehow. Either you throw it out or you scrape it in a journal or you know you do something with it. Okay, so we got that one. Okay. And then we have yellow, and I think I'm just gonna go down to this dot pattern stencil at the moment just use it and because <clears throat> I squirted out three colors of paint so we'll use three stencils how's that back to the tote bag hello Paul welcome whereabouts are you from Paul nice to have you join us Okay, and so back to the tote bag, and we're going to use the circle stencil, circle grid stencil, and yellow paint. Is it Ina? Hi. Sorry, I'm checking the chat for a minute. You're in the UK. Great. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. I'm Barb, in case you don't know who I am. <laughs> the voice in the box. <clears throat> I'm Barb, and it's nice to meet you, Paul and Ina. Is it Ina? Anyway, it's nice to have you both here. Thanks for joining <laughs> okay, so we have some yellow. What we're doing today is using the cards from Kyla Gibhan's Mixed Media Inspiration Deck. And that's what we're doing, following prompts by pulling them from the deck of cards. So whatever the card says, that's what we're doing. We're going for it. So I'm working on a tote bag and also a couple of pieces of Dilusions cardstock because it was easy to get to. And so this particular layer is to go stencil crazy and use at least three stencils. Or I think that was what it was. Is that what it was? Add three or more stenciled images. Oops, I got one more card to do. So I'm not sure that that's this, what I'm doing is what Kyla had envisioned for this card, but hey, <laughs> it's what I figured we would do. It's what made sense to me in the moment. Okay, so I've used up all the paint. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Kathy. I'm glad you joined us. I'm glad you got here for a live stream. <coughs> okay, let's hit this with the heat gun just a little bit. I'm the boss of my cards. That's right, Vicki. Vicki says I'm the boss of my own cards. She's right. <laughs> Kyla might have created them, but by golly, I'm the boss of them. <coughs> That craft room is to die for. <coughs> Excuse me, frog in my throat. Um, it's actually a separate studio. That uh, when my mother was here, she this was an apartment that we built for her, and so it is a separate. It's an apartment that was attached and built onto our house. So that's where my art studio is. Yeah. 
so no to answer your question it's not insured separately it's all just rolled into the house insurance premium thanks Angie Angie is my fairy treasures <laughs> Kyla says you are the captain the cards are for your inspiration hi Carrie Ann Carrie Ann's from South Africa we have a great international group here today welcome to everyone okay so we're ready to go on ready here's the next one add doodles or text using a white pen or marker Ooh. Ooh. doodles or text using a white pen or marker okay okay I'm going to use wanted to use <coughs> this pen I think um, Ruth told us about at one point or told me or told somebody about this this is the painters pen this is from Elmer's the company Elmer's and it's a bullet tip I got it at Walmart for $1.99 you need to shake it well and depress the tip briefly and the paint flows freely. So those are my notes about this. Okay, so we're going to check it out. <clears throat> I'm global, Paul. That's right. <laughs> okay, let's shake a little bit more here. So, the writing that's on the other side of the card, I did um, when it was brand new. Alright, so, it's writing, so we'll see what it does. Okay, so, so the only place this is going to show up is in the black, right? And I'm going to doodle, add doodles or text. Alright, so... So we're just going to write some random um, some random words. So I just wrote be free, inspire, create. Um, down here, let's go. Imagine. Just some of my favorite words. Play, enjoy, and down here I'm going to write in small letters, stay inspired. Okay, so that's what we have written in white. Pen. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, just in case, because <laughs> I can't resist it, just in case any of you um, happen to have a birthday today, um, this is my husband's birthday card uh, that I'll share with you. It's a very sweet little card, and I, I hope your birthday is so happy you could crap a mouse. <laughs> I know. I know I'm bad today I'm bad today okay <clears throat> doodle the countries of people watching you hey that's a great idea okay so we have Israel am I right Israel whoops a e l and help if I could spell um, South Africa Okay, we have the UK. Who else do we have here? Um, Canada, of course. Of course we have Canada. We have the US. 
We have Ukraine, right? Ukraine. See, I hope I can spell these right. Who else? <clears throat> Bye, Kyla. Have a great weekend. Mexico. Great. I didn't realize we had Mexico represented. That's wonderful. Mexico. And any place else that I missed? Um, New Zealand. Okay. All right. Okay, New Zealand, Germany, California. <laughs> That's its own country, isn't it? Germany. Okay, did I miss? Oh, Czech Republic. Pavlo is here, aka Jennifer. Okay, anybody else? Oh, the Netherlands. Wow, Netherlands. Okay, so we'll do the Netherlands. All right. <clears throat> I'm looking, I'm looking. Poland. Hi, hey, Kasia. Poland, okay. I'm gonna keep it all in this one, same one page. That's a great idea. I think it was Joe that came up with that. That is a great idea. Okay. Poland. Where am I going to put it so it'll show up? Here, we're going to put it in here. Let's do it this way. Okay, Poland. All right, any place else? Um, <laughs> middle of nowhere. <laughs> we got the U.S. Okay, we'll put states on this one. Okay, we'll put states on this one. U.S. states, Oklahoma. California. Okay. Missouri, because that's where I am. Okay, where else? Okay, now don't go too fast or I won't get it. Texas. Alabama. Okay. Um, Kansas. Oregon, we have New Hampshire, New Hampshire, and if I misspell anybody's state, I apologize, Minnesota, we got Minnesota. M I N N E S O T A Saturn <laughs> Illinois Contrary to popular belief it's not Illinois it's Illinois Um there was Mississippi did I see Mississippi <laughs> Mars <laughs> I'm in Missouri <laughs> Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, y'all people. Kyla and Dee Dee are in Georgia, Georgia. Did somebody say Mississippi? Florida. Mississippi, I think, was on there. Arizona. Boy, you guys are from everywhere. This is great. This is 
fun, you guys. What a great idea. Um, Arizona. I get carried away and then forget what I was going to do. Okay, what else? Montana. Montana. Okay, let's do Montana right here. Okay, where else did I miss? Uh, Montana, Mississippi. <laughs> Paul typed in Mississippi. Paul, I thought you were from the UK. <laughs> Tennessee. Uh, okay, Tennessee. We'll put Tennessee right in here. T E N N. Is it E S S E? Yeah. E S S E. Is that right, Tennessee? I missed it twice. Where? Whoops. Wait a minute. Then my computer went to sleep. I missed it twice. What was it? I got Georgia, North Carolina. North Carolina. Okay, we'll write it right here. North. C A R O L I N A. I know it fades off in the distance. Got Georgia, Texas. <laughs> Checking the spelling. New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. That's okay, Jean. That's all right. Uh, the state of confusion. Yes, the state of confusion. Yes, we should put that on here, except it's I'm out of black space. We'll just do confusion. Exclamation point. Okay. Arkansas. 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 Where should we put Arkansas? Right here. All right, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. See, I had, to, I had to think if I knew where Las Vegas was. How pitiful is that? All right, uh, UK, I did get the UK right here. UK is right there. All right, any place else? South Holland. Holland. Well, that's Netherlands, right? Is that right? Holland's the Netherlands, correct? Is that different? Let me, somebody let me know. Is South Holland different than Netherlands? If it is, I'll just put it right on there. I've never done this before either. This is brand new to me too. That's looking very cool, isn't it? It's very cool. Let's make this UK a little thicker just because I it's not standing out very well. But this um, this white pen is pretty good, I have to say. For a dollar ninety nine at Walmart. Holland is the Netherlands. Okay, no Holland equals the Netherlands. Okay, South Holland is Netherlands. Okay, gotcha. And Connecticut. 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 All right. Where am I going to put this so it'll show up? How about in here? All right. C O N N E C T I C K. Okay. C O N N E C T I C U T. Connecticut. Okay. All right. So there we go. We're stopping with that prompt. Okay. But this is a pretty good pen. I have to say it's a pretty good pen. And you can see it showed up pretty well. So this is the Elmer's Painter's Pen <coughs> for $1.99. I got it at Walmart. I'm sure they sell them other places as well. But if you have a Walmart, why not? Okay, let's get out of the picture here so you guys can see. 
So this is the international page, okay? So this is the international page. Oh, we have Michigan. Okay, I'll put Michigan on there. Okay, there's the international page. This is the stateside page. We gotta, <clears throat> we gotta add. What was it? <laughs> I just missed it. I saw it. What was it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Short attention span. Short attention span. What was it? Michigan. Holy cow, it was right there. Right there in front of me. All right, Michigan. We'll put it right here. M-I-C-H-I-G-A-N. Michigan. Okay. Got it. Okay. So, there we go. Those are those two pages. So, we'll let that dry. This should be good and dry by now. And the another thing that's happened, which is interesting, I want you to see like right here, the um, the white pen has allowed the colored ink to come up through it, so it looks variegated. See that? Cool enough. All right, let's go to the next the next prompt. The painters come in all size tips. Oh, that's cool. This one is a medium tip. No, this is a fine tip. Sorry, this is fine. Where did I see that? Somewhere on here it said fine tip. I don't know where, but anyway. Okay, so here's the next one. And we're only, we've only got four more. We're halfway through the cards now. Draw something. Oh, good reef. Freehand sketch or trace. Draw something. Okay. Draw something. Okay. Well, let's um let's draw um yeah, hold on. Got to get something for inspiration here gotta get me something for inspiration looking for inspiration here in my stuff okay mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm just looking <coughs> I'm just looking. Doesn't matter what it is, right? <coughs> All right. Can't talk, drawing. Can't talk, drawing. Clearly, I cannot talk and do this.
We're drawing Spot. <laughs> spot the dog. We're drawing Spot the dog. Okay, we have drawn. It didn't say how big it had to be, it just said to draw. Okay, now, now we're going to give said dog a little red tongue and a little, um, fill in a little pink for cheeks. And then we'll give the dog a little bit of blue eyeball. And then we got to give the dog a place to look. Okay, so I have drawn something. It's his picture. It's his picture. Maybe we should embellish his picture a little bit. Where are the rest of my pins? Here they are. Whoops, I dropped one of my cards right on the floor. So we need to embellish. We'll do... just for fun and just because we can, right? Just because we can. Okay. <clears throat> we have to draw something on these other two. All right. What are we gonna draw on these? Well. What if we just, um, what are we going to draw on this? Every once in a while, I should like have inspiration at my fingertips. Um, we're just going to draw Okay, so I drew some hearts on there. That's good enough. <clears throat> on this one, let's draw um, let's draw a border. Card. I'm the boss of my cards. Okay, I'm the boss of my cards. I can draw what I want. didn't say you had to draw a thing. It just said you had to draw something. So I did. Okay, so we drew a border. Good enough. Draw a butterfly. <laughs> too late. It's too late. I already did it. Okay, so those two will set to the side. And <coughs> go back to the tote bag again. Okay. So here we're going to this card. Add a piece of your recycled art. Okay. Alrighty then. Well. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna dig in this bag of um, fabrics that I've done. I'm going to pull out a couple of pieces of fabrics I've done. This will work well with this. Okay, so this is a piece of fabric I did a while back. So, uh, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to get a die and I'm going to die cut a piece of that. So can you all hang on while I do that? <clears throat> Don't go anywhere. I'm still here. <clears throat> Don't leave. This place is getting worse and worse and worse, people. It's getting worse by the second. Okay. So, I have a manual die cutting machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut some Sarah has no patience and she's just going to leave because she's just mad about the whole thing. She has no patience. <laughs> Too late, I see you here. You can tease some people, but you can't tease me. All right, I'm cutting a piece of this fabric to match this die. So that I don't waste, you know, more than I need. All right, and while we're at it, because we might need another piece, I have another piece of fabric, same thing, that I painted a while back, and so I'm going to cut a piece of that, and maybe we'll use a different die. Yeah, we'll just use the same one. It's circles. It'll be easy. It'll be easy. Okay. So, putting a cutting plate, putting a piece of, or putting the die, putting a piece of fabric, top it with a top. And I'm going to have a bunch of circles and a holy fabric, the blessed holy fabric that we just created. See? Two for one. <clears throat> so we have that. So we're recycling my art into shapes that we're going to add to this. Yes, blessed holy fabric, right? See? There we go. Holy fabric. Holy fabric, Batman. All right. All right, let's get this out of the way. Let's see, where can I stick this? <laughs> Anybody that thinks my studio looks great ought to see it now. Because you just keep putting stuff on the floor. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Back to the project at hand. Okay, back to the project at hand. We now have some recycled art to add to the project. So we'll add a few things to spice it up a little bit. And then we'll add a few more of these here and there. Okay, so without too much thought, that's where we're putting them, because that's just how we're doing it. So I'm using tacky glue, 
and sticking them down. We might even let one overlap here or there. When you glue fabric down, you can always use Fabri-Tac or any other fabric glue. Um, I don't happen to have any Fabri-Tac. <clears throat> I, I'm not wild. I know a lot of people really love Fabri-Tac. I'm not crazy about it. I don't like the consistency of it very well. I'm sure it's a very fine glue and lots of people use it. It's just, you know, we all develop preferences and it's not one of my preferences. And that is okay. All right, let's put these on up here. So again, this is fabric that I painted a long time ago, like weeks ago. And there is a recording of this because I did it live. So you can go back in the YouTube channel and you can find it. It was a few weeks ago. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so we got that. All right, and we have a few more of these left, so we're going to stick them on the cardstock here and there. <clears throat> See how many I have. I'm going to stick this one on the tote bag because it has my stamped face on it, so from my rubber stamp. So I'm going to stick it on the tote bag. Okay, sticking it, sticking them down. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. I will probably cut them up later for um, something. I don't know what. But we will have fulfilled the prompt. Um, card. And also at the same time we have used up all the stuff I just die cut. So perfect. I don't have stuff left over. <clears throat> okay, so we got that. All right, we're going to go. We have two, three more cards to do. <clears throat> write with a paintbrush using India ink or paint. All right. Write with a paintbrush using India ink or paint. Well, <clears throat> we're going to have to do it. <coughs> Mm -hmm. We're going to have to do it with paint <clears throat> because we're on uh, the surfaces I'm working on. I'm going to do it with paint. All right, so here's my paint palette. Um, see if this paint's going to squirt out of here for me. No. This is Penny, okay? This is the Heavy Body Mixed Media Acrylic Penny paint. Let me get a brush. And somebody give me some ideas about what you think I should write on here. Any ideas? And I need some water. Hi, Iffy, Sh Sherry Ann, Iffy. Is 
And if I mispronounced your name, I apologize. <clears throat> I know her as Iffy, <laughs> I think, instead of. Okay, I'm just um, smashing the glue down a little bit more. Okay, what shall we write? What shall we write? It just says, write with a brush. Okay. You know, it doesn't say I have to write words. doesn't say a thing about writing words, so I'm just going to write with the brush. More appropriately, we'll draw with the brush until I think of something else to do. Because <laughs> at the moment, I'm kind of running out of my idea banks getting stretched, man. So we're just kind of calling out some of these. Pieces I just put on here. Add a little more metallic goodness here. Because we haven't used metallic up until now other than what is in these recycled pieces. Happy birthday, Claus man. <laughs> I'm not cheating, Sarah. I'm not cheating. <laughs> I'm not cheating. <laughs> okay, somebody thinks I should write the quote from Claus man's card. How about if we just write the words, the letters, happy. And any of you that don't know why he's called Claus Man is because at Christmas time he carves Santa Claus figures and I paint them. At least we've done it for many years. I don't know if we'll do it again this year. You never know. All right, so I wrote on here, Happy Birthday, Claus Man. So it's just part of the graffiti-esque look, okay? All right, <clears throat> so let's go over to these. I can't resist on, is it this one? This one, yeah. I can't resist this, so I'm going to have to do, is it this one? Yeah, I have to do it on this, okay? Oh, Charlie started tuning up in there.
you read that? Probably not. I wrote, it's a small world after all on the international page. Now, what am I going to write on this one? We are We are united. Okay? So this is the United States page. So that's what I wrote on that. Does that sound good? Hi, Kylie. All right, lost my paper towel. Now I have a whole bunch of um, this copper paint, also known as Penny. I have a bunch of it left. So we're going to add some of it around these border areas. Just to add some color because I don't want to waste the paint. So be sure if you have questions or comments, put them in all caps in the chat. That way I'll see it when I look up. So what I'm trying to do here is to develop a little bigger shapes <laughs> because we've got so much busyness going on in the background here. At some point you got to start um, adding contrast of size and so that's one of the things I'm trying to do here is just add, call out some bigger shapes. And I'm just not very neatly adding in this coppery color. I do love her metallic paints. I think they are absolutely stunning. This is Penny. Her gold is also, they really are just truly wonderful colors, I think. And these are the Dina Wakely Media Paints. You could use anything. Okay, but see how that's beginning to kind of pull it in a little bit. So even if I cut pieces of it, you know, pieces of it for a card front or something, you're going to get, start to get bigger pieces of bigger shapes going on. That's what I'm after now. Trying to see if I can get some bigger something somethings going on. But not spending a lot of time, just kind of getting getting it on there. Okay. Bye, Carla. Hey, Artie Farty Fairy. Thanks for joining us. I haven't seen you for quite a while. But I do love that name. We should show Artie Farty Fairy Claus Man's birthday card, though, because it really goes with their name, but I'm trying to resist myself. Okay. Um, I still have some of this copper paint left. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to paint some
copper spots here and there until I run out of, until I use up the paint. Okay, so I'm just using up paint here now. Trying to vary some size. Again, not making everything too perfect because it's got such a graffiti kind of look about it that we don't want stuff to be too perfect. And maybe one up here. Alright, I've pretty much used up the paint, so we can call that good for this layer. I missed a scallop. I did. Yep, you're right. Thank you. You guys are good, I'm telling you. You are correct. I'll just fill in this. Okay, good enough. Thank you, thank you. All right. So let's hit it with the heat gun since I got some wet paint on here. Move my paint palette off the table. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, Joanne. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got the scallop. I did. I promise. <laughs> One of the circles isn't colored around. Oh, it is. You guys, you guys got good eyes. See? You guys got better eyes than I have. All right, let me see if I can scrape up enough paint here. Okay, hopefully I didn't miss any more. Did I get it all now? I have a demanding group. I know. I know. They just got good eyes, that's all. Okay, so there is... There's how it's looking so far. It's kind of cute in real life, I have to tell you. It's cuter in real life than it is on the screen. Okay, that's probably good enough. All right, let's go to the next card. We've got two cards left. Drip or spray watered down paint. Drip or spray watered down paint. How about let's do splats. Splats will work, right? Yeah, splats will work. And... I'm going to take a liberty with this one because splatting is incredibly messy. <laughs> so I'm going to take some liberty with this one. And, uh oh, wake up, computer. Sorry if you guys, whoop, come on, wake up, computer, wake up. Hold the, hold the phone, everybody. It's okay. Just got to wake back up. There we go. Computer got tired. It wanted a little nap. In case you get a little black screen. Computer, wake up. Thank you. So what I have in this mess of stencils somewhere is I have a splat stencil. And so we're going to use that. And we're going to pretend... We're going to pretend that it's uh, dripped or splatted, okay? So we're going to splat with a stencil. Race closes his eyes. He's not. He left a long time ago. <laughs> I know he did. I know he left a long time ago. Okay, so we're going to go to... Um, trying to get this board over. 
because I have a mess of black paint here that came from my hands earlier so I'm trying to get over there with my board that's inside and we're going to use um, black paint so this is just black Americana Hi Josie, thanks for coming. Okay, so I'm going to just put some black paint on my palette over here. Alright, so I just have my palette. I have my black paint. I'm going to get... Um, see if this sponge will work. Okay, I think it's going to work. Alright, so we're going to splat... Um, This may or may not work, by the way, so, you know, hey. We're going to splat with black paint through this splat stencil. So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna do semi-controlled splats. How's that? Semi-controlled splats. Like that. That'll work. That'll work. See? Looks like a splat, right? It looks like a splat. Okay. That's right, Miriam. That's right. Creative freedom. So I'm just taking up the excess paintage. All right. So another splat. I think another splat should live right up here. Don't you think there should be another splat up there? You probably can't see that. All right, let's see if we can make another splat happen up here. Could work might go terribly wrong folks it might go terribly wrong and I'm thinking this splat might need to just finish out splattering down here. After all, it is kind of an artsy fartsy thing. Alright, so we have splatted and we have splatted and I'm thinking we need to splat down in this corner. Bye Petka! Thanks for coming. It's good to see you. Alright, so we're gonna splat down here somewhere. Um, Maybe we're going to just splat the way that this splat was intended to be. And we'll just splat right about... I'm going to clean off the stencil first because I'm getting garbage on the back of this. Not that it's the end of the world. But if you're trying to control splattage, you know, hey, okay. So let's um, control, let's put the splat like right here. Right about there. Let's see what happens. And there we go. Complete with splattage and drippage. Yes, yes we have splattage and drippage. Going a variety of directions and that's okay. Don't you think? Hey Carol. 
<laughs> she got here at 2, 2 p.m., but it was mountain time. <laughs> okay, so we'll let that dry a minute. We need to um, do something on these. Well, I think black is too much, so we need to go to... Um, let's see, what shall we do? Hmm, on this one, what shall we do to this, baby? I don't know. I'm out of ideas on this one. Anybody got an idea? Anybody got an idea? I'm going to use some this is the SEI tumble dye this color is turquoise and I'm going to put it up here at the top if I can get some to come out here I have to use a brush. No, I know what I got. I know what I got. I know. Use one of these little dropper dealies. All right. So I put some up there hit it with a little bit of water and we're going to drip it. All right, that's that's okay. We can do that on this stuff. So, let's put a little bit more So I put some more up here, trying to keep from splatting myself in the face. So we got some drippage going, okay? We have met the criteria. We have dripped and splatted, and perhaps we should have a little bit more right about in here I know it's hard for you to see but you know okay so we've dripped all right we have drippage we do have drippage we don't have any over here Maybe we should put a bit more right here. So much for my hands looking good going out to dinner tonight because now I've got tumble dye, dye on them. <laughs> okay, come on. Move, darn it. Move. Okay, we have drippage. Drippage has been accomplished on said page. All right, so we have that. All right, this is this page is considerably um, drippy at the moment, as in wet drippy. So we're gonna set that off to the side and hopefully in a place where it doesn't do a lot of damage <laughs> alright let's drip something on this one um, I think the turquoise actually would look good with the copper so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with that shouldn't we why not she says
Drippage and splatterage is hard to show on camera, I have to say. Because my camera setup is such that um, it's set up to be flat, you know, to view things in a flat kind of way. Probably made no sense. Like the time the gal I was working for said, yeah, it's back on the flat table. <laughs> it's like, what? As opposed to a what? A tilted table or what? As opposed, yeah. See, now I've just gone to rambling. Okay, we're going to call that good. Call that good. We have dripped and splatted, sort of. And this is really super wet, so we don't know whether we're going to get anything else out of this one. Let me put it this way so you can see. Okay, so we've dripped and splatted. Um, and what we're going to do now is go to the last card. So our tenth prompt card is coming up. Let's hope it's something good. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to veto it and we're going to pick a new card. Not that they're not all good. Use watercolors. Nope, that won't work. Okay, let's go for another one. Okay, this was the next one on the top of the stack because I'm not using watercolor for with all this. Rub gesso or paint in random places with your fingers. We can probably do that one. Yeah. <coughs> Thanks, you guys. All right, let's come back to this one. And we're going to hit it with um, the heat gun just to make sure that our splats are dry. <clears throat> okay, let's make the splats dry. Rub gesso or paint in random places with your fingers. Okay. Gesso or paint? <clears throat> All right. Well, now it gets interesting, doesn't it? Um... Um, 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 uh. The table the table is not full of crappage. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> it is definitely. It is definitely full of crappage. The table is everywhere is crappage here today. <laughs> That's a good word. I'm just thinking here, just thinking. I'm just thinking to myself. Okay. What color do I want to use? Maybe we'll do a little bit of umber. Just to kind of tone down. Inside this border. And, you know, kind of give it a little more distress kind of look here. Because, hey, you can never have too much distress in your life. <laughs> if you know what I mean.
So this is Dina Wakeley's Umber that we're using a little bit of here. All right, so we've just added a little bit. We've rubbed it in with our fingers. We're gonna call that good. And then I think I'm gonna just leave it alone. And the other, the two pages are too wet to do anything with, so we're not gonna do anything to those. All right, so we're gonna call this a good, um, a good day of using prompt cards. These are the Kyla Give Hand Mixed Media Inspiration Deck. The you'll find a lick, a lick, a link in the description box below the video window. If you're interested in the cards, um, hopefully you think this was a fun thing that we did. If you're interested in cards, you can get yourself a deck. You can make your own deck. You can do a lot of things, right? So these were what we did. We used black gesso or black paint to cover something up. That's what you saw around the outside edge because I did black gesso. We doodled or draw doodle or draw, doodle or drawed some random shapes. That's what's done in the background with the pens. We did an alphabet stencil. You can see that here. And there was some up there. We did go crazy with stencils, add three or more stenciled images. And there's one here. There's dots. These yellow dots were one. And the other one was what? What was the other one? Oh, it was one, two, and this green puzzle piece, that was the third one. Well, you can do anything you want, Vicki, absolutely. Add doodles or text using a white, mark, a white pen or marker. So there's a white pen around the edge. I did some words. We drew something. I drew this little puppy dog. Add a piece of your recycled art. We added, these are fabric pieces that um, I recycled, die cut them. These were painted fabrics I did several weeks ago and so I stuck them on. Write with a paintbrush using India ink or paint. And so I wrote, I drew around the circles. I drew some random dots around here and I wrote happy birthday Claus man because it's my husband's birthday today. Drip or spray watered down paint. This is where we took liberties and I used the splat stencil and I stenciled splats on here because with fabric it's hard to splat and drip. Use watercolors. We did not do. I vetoed that one. I used paint, gesso, gesso or paint in random places with your fingers and I just did that around the inside of the frame just to grunge it up a little bit more. Okay. So that was that. And then in the meantime, we also did a couple of pieces of card. This is the Dilutions cardstock. So this one was the United States group. And so I ended up when the drawing or the writing part, I wrote all the states that were represented here in the chat today. And it says we are united. And then this one was for the internationals that were present today. And so I wrote all of their countries that they that I saw anyway that were in the chat. So they are around that. So the only thing I did not do was to rub paint on this with my fingers because it's too wet. So probably what I will do with this is I'll cut this into smaller pieces and use it. Um, here I can show you what kind of the idea. I have these uh, frames that a friend of mine gave me. So you can take something like this and you can isolate out pieces. And you can see, you know, what smaller pieces might look like. Couldn't see that because I was off camera. Like so. So once you start looking at the smaller pieces, the smaller sections of a big piece like that, then you can see how cool they end up looking, right? OK. 
Okay. So you got the idea of what you can do with something like this that just looks like too busy and too messy. Well, then you just cut it down and you use it in smaller chunks, smaller pieces. All right, um, let's take a look at this. We'll look at it up close. So you can see all the bits and pieces. Let me get this camera out of the way. Okay, so here is from the top. So you can see up really close what things look like. There's the dog. Okay, so that's moving across to the other edge. And we'll come down. But you can see how bright the colors are. There's the splat. I love how the white pen leached up the color from the tumble dye. So yeah, that's a pretty good shot right there of all the bits and pieces. Coming down the other side, you get to see the other splat. <clears throat> That's the other splat where we covered up where I had stuck my finger in it. And then we're back where we started from. So there is my redone tote bag. And you can't even tell what's under there now. So get yourself a tote If you've got a tote bag, hey, it's a great way to redo it, recycle it, and make it your own. And it's easy if you use prompt cards like that because then you don't have to think. You just do oh okay I'll do that now and oh okay well then I'll do that you know and you're it frees your imagination way up to do that kind of thing so all right let me get the sponsors because goodness gracious we can't we cannot leave the sponsors out now can we okay so let me get the camera back here whoops just Whacked it with my hand. Okay, let me get the sponsors out and then we're going to take off. <clears throat> Whoa! Boy, goodness sakes. You couldn't wait to get out of there, you poor old thing. You were just, you were just being tortured staying in that room, that little bitty tiny room. Yeah. Not so much, huh? Not so much. All right, so here is said sponsor number one. Whoop, you got to scoot back, buddy. You got to scoot back. Lay down. There you go. There you go. This is a chance. Sponsor number one. <coughs> Thanks, Eileen. All right, you coming up, Mr. Sponsor? Ooh. Here's Mr. Sponsor number two. Whoop. Are you going away? Okay. He'd had enough. Here, Charlie. Sponsor number two. Yep. Okay. So, <sighs> that was a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun. I enjoyed doing that with you guys. How much does Chance weigh? I don't know. Charlie's heavier than Chance is. Um,. I don't know because they haven't been to the vet for a while. I should look back at their records because they were, they're too fat. They arrived here too fat and I've never been able to trim them down, although I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. Yeah, they're fat. Charlie's especially fat. Chance is chunky, but Charlie is fat. So. <laughs> Oh, anyway, Charlie's had enough. He, he made it out of the room, and now he's got to have a nap. Your mouth is all wet. What have you been doing? Silly old thing. You're either drooling or you got just got a drink. I don't know which. He's silly. Your mouth is dirty. Oh, what am I going to do with them? Oh, anyway, here I am talking, talking to them instead of to you guys. All right, so it's great to see you all. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you being here. Um, don't If you like what I do, please tell your friends. And also, um, 
If you would like to check out the website, we have a membership website for full of classes and all kinds of things. We have a VIP membership, and um, there's just all kinds of stuff that goes on over there. That's at howtogetcreative.com. You're welcome to check it out. There are various options for membership, and we'd love to have you join us. And uh, I will see you next week, same time, same place. Everything worked well today, so we must be back on track. I will see you then. So everybody have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, I will see you next week. So you guys have a great one, everybody. And uh, see you next time. Stay creative because, you know, it's easy. Bye.